Salam everyone and welcome to this fresh episode of Good Morning with Gayatri Mantra. We have brother Karthik Ramesh with us today, a former student of Bhagwan's University, who has recently been adjudged to be among Asia's top hundred power leaders in technology 2022 by White Page International. He heads. Emets International. He looks after the innovation and the international markets. He is here to tell us how Gayatri Mantra has powered his stellar career growth. How Gayatri Mantra has helped him to establish a deeper connect with Bhagwan, no matter where he is, which endeavor he is engaged in, and how Gayatri Mantra has broadened his perspective of life and living. And what is interesting is. Bhagwan himself, in a way, initiated him into the Gayatri Mantra. Karthik, tell us that story. Sai Ram, my most loving and humble pranams at Bhagwan's lotus feet. I think with the theme of Gayatri, the Good Morning has become a godly morning, and I am fondly recalling that wonderful day of 23rd March 2000, when Bhagwan had assured 108 brahmacharis or vatus in Tamil Nadu that he would. Personally, do the upanayanam in a mass ceremony at Sundaram. The sacred thread ceremony. The sacred thread ceremony before you know you start doing your sandhya vandan. So Swami on that particular day actually did not come in the physical form, but he made this amazing promise to us. You know, and it is a promise of Gayatri Ma Sai Ma. I can say, he told the office bearers of the Sri Satya Sai Seva organizations that wherever and whenever these boys chant the Gayatri Mantra, Bhagwan would physically manifest Himself to wow. bless them. Wow. Chant the Gayatri Mantra, and I am there. Absolutely. Wow. And we were eagerly anticipating Bhagwan's arrival, and you know, we were as we were going through the sacred uh, thread ceremony, being initiated by our father in the presence of our mom. We were waiting for that moment to go into Bhagwan's presence, and some of us decided the next day, 24th March 2000, Bhagwan was actually in Whitefield as he was heading to Kodaikanal, and we rushed there. You know, in the same attire we wore the previous day. Complete with you know the bamboo stick as you see in the Shankaracharya photos, and Bhagwan comes beautifully wafting through the audiences straight to our group. You know where three four of us are seated. He looks at us and he says, "Chant the Gayatri Mantra." Wow! Can you imagine chanting the Gayatri Mantra in Bhagwan's physical presence? And in a sense, the promise which he made the previous day got fulfilled for some of us. Yes. And as we were chanting the Gayatri Mantra, Bhagwan waved his hand. He materialized. Udi and not mm-hmm. Vibhuti, mm-hmm. and he sprinkled it on the Panchabhuta patras, you know, which we use for the Sandhya Vandan. And as he was doing this, he suddenly turned to me and he said, "Chant the Gayatri Mantra now." And Bhagwan made me chant it not once but thrice. Wow! And he said, "Pada Namaskar Tisko." As I was taking Pada Namaskar, Bhagwan looked at me and said, "Good boy." And he said, "From now on, I want you to chant the Gayatri Mantra every single day of your life." Wow! In a sense, I felt initiated into the Gayatri Mantra. As I sat there in the Sai Ramesh Hall, looking at the students, my earnest prayer was to become one of Bhagwan's student. And I believe the Gayatri Mantra has this potency to manifest your innermost potential, your innermost desires, when you chant it with that sincerity. Despite astrological positions in my birth chart, where I could not be Bhagwan's student till mm-hmm. date, mm-hmm. thanks to chanting the Gayatri Mantra from that day for the last, I would say, 22 years. Every day, every single day, wow. three times a day, as we call it, the Trikala Sandhya Vandanam. Doing it in the morning from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., doing it at noon, and then doing it night and the evening from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Bhagwan says, "Gayatri Chandasam Mata." She is the mother of all the Vedas, and I've seen the power of the mother of all Vedas manifest in my personal excellence as well as my professional excellence. From that year 2000 till I completed my engineering from Anna University in 2002. I consistently topped and ended up getting the gold medal from Anna University. Wow. <laughs> the journey doesn't stop, brother Bishu, and in the last 22 years I first got a chance to do an MBA in Puttaparthi, which by Bhagwan's grace I could manage to get an outstanding grade. Till date, Bhagwan when I joined the institution in fact validated, he told me that I have Changed your navagrahas with my anugraha. Swami said that. Swami physically said that. Wow. When he once asked me to speak on the Gayatri mantra, on the other occasion, I recall Bhagwan also told me that यहाँ mark से नहीं grace mark से admission मिलता है. And I believe that grace mark I got is due to the Gayatri mantra. 
and it is not just the puttaparthi mba swami also told me this is your first mba today by bhagwan's grace to my latest count i have completed six mba programs oh <laughs> five of them at the premier iim institutions including a fellowship at xlri jamshedpur all with top outstanding grace and i can only say with humility that this is because of the power of the gayatri mantra and not just academic excellence if i look at the professional field till date you know we say the gayatri mantra has 24 syllables and i find this divinely incidental that i have won 24 national and international awards and it is bhagwan's will that as i came to puttaparthi today for you know sharing this experience i've also been nominated as intrapreneur of the year 2022 wow. Mm. by the global business icons and i will be you know recognized and felicitated next weekend uh, by some of the you know leading ambassadors of of the union government of india how is this virtually i mean possible for anybody if you ask me my secret sauce is the gayatri mantra mm. and there are not just these instances of personal and professional excellence there have been life saving incidents mm. at least thrice in my life especially after i left the portals of the institute my job has taken me to over 25 different countries on business travel and very often you know these flight journeys are turbulent i recall one such incident in 2012 when i had returned from us and i was in india and i was thinking about the fact that i never stood up and asked bhagwan for a blessing for my birthday i was seated in a spice jet plane which was taking off from surat incidentally my birthday is on 25th november i had given the birthday talk in the surat sai samiti and as i sat in the plane thinking of this i said why don't i chant the gayatri mantra because bhagwan is going to appear that physically i completed 108 times of chanting the gayatri mantra as the engines powered on and the flight taxied we could hear a loud boom thud and an explosion oh the flight which was about to take off was fully grounded in emergency mode because the flight had been bird hit oh my god and i believe it is the power of gayatri mantra which saved me there and this is just one of the incidents i had a similar incident again when i was on a flight from singapore to sri lanka and one when i was from uh, you know brunei to malaysia i always found that the gayatri mantra bhagwan says that it protects you at the physical mental and the spiritual level it creates an aura of protection if you go through satya sai speak bhagwan therefore insists to us that even at the time of having our bath we should chant the gayatri mantra if i look at the last one and a half years of covid uh, brother bishu have participated in several global hackathons including that by the united nations unesco to be specific and run by ibm sap when my team was rated as the top edtech solution you know for the world again power of the gayatri mantra before every hackathon session we as a group though the others were not side gayatri mantra is universal right yes. so we chanted the gayatri mantra over successive rounds that we went through nine successive rounds shortlisted from 4000 global participants to top of the edtech category in a united nations ibm sap hackathon this is only again possible you know in the manifestation of the power of the gayatri mantra wow so i mean while the world might think that you know you are all, all the successes that you have achieved is because of your intelligence your iq but you completely feel that it is because of the gayatri mantra you are what you are today absolutely with without a second thought and bhagwan says not just the sadhana of chanting the gayatri mantra is important the timing of that because i believe when you chant the gayatri mantra in the sandhya vandana you make a sankalp that is equivalent to a determination to succeed in your endeavor right and swami says there are three stages concentration contemplation and meditation as you prepare for the gayatri japa and that's therefore bhagwan also insists at least chant gayatri mantra thrice a day you atone for the sins of the day so no matter where you are you are traveling you are in different countries you three times a day you do the gayatri japa absolutely i do the gayatri japa through the sandhya vandan i do the brahma yagyam which is you know uh, offering to our ancestors which again includes elements of the gayatri mantra and i do the aupasanam or it is called samita danam for bachelors where again so all of these rituals are not to be seen as a ritual to make a particular effort it's like a laser beam right if you want the gayatri mantra to work fully for you you need to follow the prescribed routines and which bhagwan himself has laid out right and gayatri operates at the mantra operates at three level you know you talk about worshiping the sun god as the ultimate without the sun the life will not exist right so literally i feel every time i've been even in situations i've worked with some of the world's leading you know professional leaders one such leader i worked for was the topmost billionaire in 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 the entire middle east 
many times he would put me in a situation where i would have to take a fraction of a second decision right mm. he will say should i sign this million dollar agreement or not there is no time to contemplate there is no time to concentrate right it happens through intellect so i mean i think those are moments where you can't depend on your knowledge or intelligence it has to be just intuition absolutely it's just intuitive and it is coming from the zone of your intellect and gayatri mantra as bhagwan beautifully says asks the sun god yes. to illumine your intellect yes. and to bestow the same effulgence which spreads across these universes or multiverses into yourself so i believe that grace of gayatri is available to all are we attuned to that grace Yes. Many times people ask me is this you know efforts you are putting day and night yes i've also found the gayatri mantra is allowing me to stay awake for extended periods of time oh okay because swami has also said and it is there in our scriptures in sanatan dharma your ojas increases the more number of times you chant while the minimum number bhagwan says at least thrice three times a day mm -hmm. the more you chant the more potent it becomes and the more you succeed so you're saying you are saying you you can manage with less sleep you are less stressed because of gayatri mantra absolutely if people in the corporate world across you know different organizations identify couple of you know strengths of mine they would be a never give up attitude with unrelenting strength to work for extended hours and this uncanny ability to know practically anything in any domain and if i have this you know today we talk about speed reading we talk about mind techniques focus i have not gone through any formal course of these right but i find that some of these skills come naturally to me only because i'm chanting the gayatri mantra in the prescribed way and offering the results thereof to bhagwan wow fantastic so if we have to make our life smart if we have to make our living really modern then we need shortcuts to success we need shortcuts to embolden our energies we need shortcuts to intuition and i think gayatri mantra is the way right absolutely and it is like you very nicely said in this world of you know nanotechnology and direct to device and we are spending all the time on mobile phone why don't we just download the mp3 of bhagwan chanting the gayatri <laughs> mantra right yes. and it all it takes is yes. just 12 minutes and you have already chanted at least 27 times yes right and you get the potency you get and i've also experienced that in our samiti back in in chennai we do group chanting of the gayatri yes. mantra every yes. day and it is not a coincidence that our area our locality and our community of 4000 families has been relatively unaffected wow. and a lot of people who don't know bhagwan who don't know gayatri mantra but who participate in this national chanting between 9 to 9:30 i'm sure it's happening in many parts of the world but the belief that the mantra works is yes. as important as chanting the mantra yes of course right. faith is very important but i think we have all experienced just like you have seen in in your life and so many people have experienced how gayatri mantra has protected them but i think as you said it is not only individuals strengthening their power uh, to achieve in this world as well as achieve on the spiritual path but when you do it collectively you protect the society you help in creating a better world right absolutely and i think end of the day it is this group sadhana swami says samastha loka so we need to do the collective it's not just important to restrict this yes. at an individual level i'd also like to add bishu like you know post my mbas which i have done in these various institutions during the peak of the covid i got an opportunity to do a full fledged research with bits pilani in this whole theme of gayatri and it's again a divine coincidence i would say that bits pilani rajasthan campus is not far from pushkar where it is said in our you know scriptures lord brahma's only temple where yes. he is worshiped and he met goddess gayatri there so even in bits where i'm doing my ph full time phd along with a crazy schedule i attribute it completely to the power of the gayatri mantra wow fantastic thank you so much kartik i i know there are so many more stories that you can share but uh, at least you have given us a glimpse of the power of this mantra to unlock our potentials as well as to connect to the super power which is all around us if only we can listen to bhagwan swami himself has chanted as he said that is the best thing we can do we can listen to the way swami has chanted and make it a part of our daily life it will help to broaden our heart sharpen our mind and fulfill our soul so that we can feel him every moment of our lives thank you so much kartik sairam sairam